Hey, 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 what's going on, guys and gals? Welcome back to the neighborhood. I am John, your favorite neighbor kid, and I'm coming back again for a little bit more Terraria Journeys End today. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue off. We're gonna, we're gonna Spooktober. You know, uh, we're trailing a little bit. We're going on the end of uh, Spooktober already. Just kind of unfortunate. I like to, I really like to celebrate Spooktober. It's one of my favorite things, you know? Um,. It's it's a good time. Oh, dude, this guy's in a superhero costume. That's that's so dope. All right, this guy needs to get out of here. And uh, let's see how are we gonna do that. We're gonna employ our murderous laser rifle. That's right. Taste my gat, punk. Ooh. ooh, 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 ooh. Then we got this guy. What's your deal? Hopping Jack. Anyway, my idea for today is actually what? This is weird. This is actually weird. Um, I wonder if these are... Because I've heard that these are enemies that, that will actually spawn in what we want to do today, which is to create a graveyard slash... Uh, uh, we want to create a graveyard slash, like, a mausoleum or something. Like, we want to do a little bit of decorating today. We're going to get a couple episodes. Like, uh, um, I, you know, this is... I, I do my, uh... I do my episode recording in sessions, so... I like to get at least a couple episodes. For the most part, so that's why I don't always... I like to do that. It's a good thing, you know? It's good to get it in batches, uh, in my opinion. Um, let's pick a good spot for... I think, actually, right over here, hey... Buddy, you need to get right the hell out of here. Um, this is a good place to plant, uh, actually as many grave- graves as possible as possible, and we can put up on the hill, like, right here, a mausoleum, and I think we could have a gatehouse on the other side. This is actually probably gonna work out pretty well, I think. Let's get our frog summoned. You know, because it's the middle of the night, we're getting our butts kicked by everything. Um, hard mode. Be damned. Um, let's get some more pumpkins right now. And let me think about this, because, you know, really all we need to do to get this, the biome started is to actually throw down some, uh, throw down some graves. And I've been saving those. Actually, just uh, with the intention entirely for de decoration, because, uh, you know, uh, last October we, we did, uh, you know, we did spooky decorations and such, and, uh... It came out real nice. I liked it a lot. Oh, do we only have... Nope, there we go. There's another one. We could die a couple times to get some more. Obelisk. That's a tombstone, right? I'm fairly certain. Fairly certain. Um... Headstone... Cross statue. Headstone is a... An actual one. The really cool thing about this is that once it creates a new biome, that actually um, gives you more crafting options. So we can actually create new fun things. Oh my god, that was weird. I was stuck in an odd situation there. Um, actually, let me uh, grab some creation items. Things that we can use to create some stuff. Uh, I gotta remember commands that are not, uh, Starbound related. Um, we've got... Oh, man, we got lead in this. And we got iron, too. And iron is gonna be very useful. We'll, we'll bring this, uh, we'll bring this along as well. Um, gonna make a workbench, just real quick here. Oh, I destroyed the iron, the anvil. Why did I do that? I knew there was gonna be a reason to, to keep it. Did I destroy it? Or did I put it down? No, I destroyed it. I remember destroying it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Basic bits. We could do pumpkin workbench. We got wood, right? What am I missing here? What do we need to make a uh, an actual workbench? More wood than I have, I think, is the the real problem. Um. You know, since we have so many pumpkins just right now, let's just kind of start by, uh, just the real basic stuff. Because, you know, we got a few days. We got a few days. Um, we can grab some, we can get some pumpkin lanterns. Ooh, do we want pumpkin lamp or hanging jack-o'-lantern? Both? All? 
I guess we're going with five. Okay. Make things nice and spooky. You know, we're not going to replace any uh, things that we've already got. I mean, I don't know what a pumpkin workbench actually does for us. Anything special? Pumpkin breastplate? That's nice. Oh, that is something that I want to look into. Let's see what we can go for costumes here. Let's do for costumes. Um, we don't have a lot to work with. If I remember correctly. We got just our basics. Um... We already did the pretty princess one. Devil horns. We could roll with that for a little bit. Let's let's just do that straight up. We got our little devil horns on. That sounds right. That sounds like me. Uh, not a wedding veil. We can't do that. Okay. All right. So let's look at let's look at our availability for uh, decorating here. We don't have a lot of real estate, I realize, but eh, we could put. Uh, can we? Can we put it? Yeah, we put a jack lantern right there. We can have one hang out right here. Does it change? Is it random? I think it's random based on where it is. Or uh, random. Yeah, if you replace it, it's got a different shape to it, which is nice. It's actually kind of cool. Let's put that one right there. Just put them all around, right? It's actually kind of nice we can do that. Get some more pumpkins. Hanging jack-o'-lantern. See, how do you... Because why not? A little excessive for down here. But I think it looks nice. It's, it's alright. And these guys... Don't get as much attention. Which is really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. Gotta get around to building some more houses. I mean, that's what we're gonna do uh, in this episode or the next. Actually, uh, more likely the next. We're gonna try to get the environment worked out uh, in this one for sure. That's not where I wanted to put that. Let's try that again. Beautiful. Another one right there. And we didn't get a whole lot of votes either way for uh, actual decorating ideas. Like, do we want to decorate on camera? So that's what we're doing. I just, I just decided, you know, let's let's throw it down. Let's do it. Let's get a little bit of decorating right now. Get it out of the way. Hanging Jack Leonard. Ah, it's too crowded in there right now. Let's take a look at some of the other houses. We've got this one down here. We're not gonna. <laughs> I, I'm gonna straight up say we're not gonna visit the. Uh, We're not going to go ahead and visit our our friend at the sea. We're not going to visit that. We might do underground. We don't have a lot of, lot to work with right now. And I might do more decor decorating in between. Decorating. Might do more decorating in between. Just make things quite nice. Nice. Uh, but let's... We've got our stuff here. We're good there. Let's get some hanging pumpkin lanterns down here. Why not? Let's hope I'll be able to remember this later. That's that's good and center technically. Get as many pumpkins as we can right now. In fact, we should be getting as many worms as we can right now. Oh nope, there it goes. There it goes. There goes the uh there goes the rain. No worries. We'll get back to that. We'll, we'll you know deal with that at a later time. Or, you know, I'll do it on my own. What's up, buddy? Did you just kill my worm? I just got that out. That is just a... That's a D move right there. Alright, I will use the... I'll use some pumpkin lanterns to just kind of... Mark. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe not all the way over there. I want, I, want, I want to delineate a little bit here. Mark where I want the ends of things to be. So we'll have one side be over there. The other side of the graveyard. Oh my god, we've got flying slimes. We'll have them a little closer. A lot closer. We'll have them a lot closer. 
So I'm going to want graves, I think, on both sides. Did I... Come on, thank you. Um, But I also want spooky trees, so that'll help out. Switch to that. Let's take a look. Let's try this out. As far as I understand it, you just basically have to put them down. Let's actually... Get... Did I do that right? Actually, I think I did. Get half the trees out of here. Make things a little easier for us. We'll count that as... You know, because you could fit one tree in there if it was... If it was even terrain, you could get another one in there. Definitely do that. And then the intent probably is to put this... Uh, to put a, like, a mausoleum Liam or something up here. And I think we could have, like, a, just a nice spooky little gatehouse. Like, a, uh, a graveyard keeper's house. Over here. And the mausoleum could have, uh, a few separate rooms. So maybe we'll have the, the... Yeah, let's cut this out right now. Let's see. It's not ideal, but then we have to, we can just hammer this out. Get this a little level here. There we go. Beautiful. So this is where I wanna like throw down just a nice little like gatehouse sort of deal. Something that that really you know accentuates this is the beginning of our area. Whether or not it's actually going to have a gate, we'll see. Because I want to be able to run through things. Um, and then our mausoleum will be up here. And we'll probably include some underground stuff. But let's get our... Let's start throwing down some graves here. Let's distribute things. Okay, just like that. Where do we have a few more of? We got a few of these guys. So let's spread these out a little bit. And I don't know how close they have to be. Oh, oh. You see that? See that? It got it got darker. It looked like it got darker. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? That chill in the air. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Oh baby. Quiet neighborhood. I assume that has something to do with uh. Okay, so that's one of them. This is gonna make this is gonna make construction here just absolutely terrible, but this is what we're doing. This is where we're at. Excellent, beautiful. And that's not quite close enough. I wanna get some on the other side. So let's see. We could just do it the easy way. We could just die. Or I could take a pause and, and go grab some more uh, tombstones from somewhere else. Because I know I got some lying around somewhere. You know I collect them. Because I die so often. It's a real problem for me. I don't have a separate location for them, do I? It'd be interesting. Also, we get like we gotta get Maylor. We gotta get him a place for real. All right, yeah. I'll put a pause in here and I'll go grab. I'll see if I can grab some from another uh, another map real quick. All right, we got some more decorations to work with here. Um, we got another. We got some several grave markers, uh, tombstone gravestones, you know that sort of thing. Let's make sure that we extend this out. We want we want this to go out far enough. Put an obelisk here. And again, we could just die a whole crap ton and just keep everything creepy and horrible. Could be fun. Could be a thing. Let's put a tombstone right there. We will put more in the actual mausoleum and such. Let's go like that. Another grave marker. 
keep this terrain going. Another stone there. Oh man. There we go. Get rid of these punks. I love I love that. Get, kind of get that uh not sepia tone, but it drains the uh the hue out of everything. It's real nice, actually. Let's put that to really delineate. And I think I'm gonna wanna have the Reaper statue up near the front, so we'll put that down for now. Alright, y'all need to get out of here. This is beautiful though. I love this. This is great. So we got our we got our grave area established. Let's get some more light down. Good lord. I kind of hope it changes the trees and such and and things over time. Got crows, that's a thing. Or ravens, I don't know. I don't actually know the difference quite yet. Get out of here. This is beautiful. It's looking great. So, let's go grab some more. <laughs> uh, let's go grab some building uh, uh, items. We'll put some things together and see what we want to construct. Okay, that's all of our just regular. I will grab some dirt. Just to make sure that we've got it. We want to make sure that that's a thing. Um, glass, glass wall, of course that, wood, yes, yes, cobwebs, obviously we want to throw some cobwebs up, running out of space real quick here, let's do a, uh, let's do a quick stack, make sure that we get rid of, I hope I didn't get rid of something I wanted there, that'd be quite depressing, there we go. I should open this up right away. Rotten eggs. Okay. Okay, that's the thing. I get that. I feel it. I feel it. And uh, I will go ahead and grab a few more of those. Some more pumpkin lamps. Pumpkin lanterns. We'll probably go for like more specifically uh, spooky decor. Uh, not less less festive looking, you know, because we want it to look haunted, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we'll probably do it that way once we can once we can actually construct some things. What a paper airplane? The hell did that come from? Where did you come from then? Let me make sure I get the rest of my materials though. Stone slab, stone wall, gray brick. Um. We'll open up our... We'll actually open up our void bag. Oh crap, I got a bunch of things in here already. I bet I have a bunch of things in the, uh... This is all from previous play. Well, nerds! That's a thing. Um, let's put our... Just our basic decorations in there right for right now. And we'll make sure to grab everything else. Oh, I don't get rid of this stuff too. Um, then we'll grab all of our equipment and things. Let's see. Demonite, we want stone platforms, gray brick. Uh, wooden fence for now. Wooden bean, definitely. Possibly mudstone, mudstone wall. That could be... All of this is... All of this is good quality stuff. And I'll grab extra stone. We just cut a bunch of trees down, so we got wood. Ha! That's a joke. There's a joke there. Got wood, okay. Lamp post, baby. I'm just gonna grab a couple of those to start with. Actually, a few of those. Uh, several of those. Do the iron fence, we can do all this stuff. There's actually some stuff, once you've got um, things getting together with the graveyard, you can actually create some more stuff, which is nice. You get sort of a, uh, if you get it into a mist situation, you can create different, more festive items. Which I like! And, uh, I will take. Uh, let's see. Again, let me check to see if I got everything. I do want a heavy workbench along. So let's create a workbench to bring with us. And... See if I can remember... How to make... Heavy workbench. 
Should also get a kiln because we haven't we haven't gotten one of those yet. But I would rather. Can we do this with lead? Like just with lead? Because I'd rather. Okay, it's any iron. Any iron. Good, good, good. I don't I don't want it to be specific here. Um we'll grab that. Grab the bench as well. And we'll get that iron back. Also. I'd rather use the lead first because I'm pretty sure that's what we've got it in this world. It'll make it a little things a little bit more accessible. Okay, yeah, see that we got that mist, right? Oh hell, this is gonna be a problem. I mean, it's at, it's nighttime, so it's not surprising that we got enemies. But the 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 whole thing about the graveyard is that it does cause enemies to appear regardless. You know, it's a biome. I'm digging it though, I am super, I'm super into it. Let's see. I brought some dirt. We could create a, and these guys I think can teleport. We can create a nice little area we can actually build without being too, uh, without being interrupted. Where the hell did I put the dirt? Did I put the dirt away? Good lord. I did. I know I did. Beautiful. Okay. At least we've got that quick travel option here. Let's grab some dirt. We'll get started on our little construction project. Much rather do it during the day, just in the, the, just with the idea that. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, you can do it. I don't want to build it super big, but I do want to give myself a reasonable amount of space with which to build something that's not super big, if that makes sense. And that will probably be fine. I have to deal with this this wraith though. Beautiful. Close this up right before they get to us. Can you teleport? Can you actually teleport? Good to know. Let's get some light on the outsides so we can really see. Or do that. We can do that, too. I mean, why not? We've screwed up everything else in our lives. It's a good learning experience, right? Right? Okay. Let's see. Let's go like this. Let's just... Let's build a base layer. Just for a little... Thing. Make, make sure the uh, measuring, is, measuring tool is out. Let's see what's our length. We want it... So that's three, right? It says technically... Technically... 17 from where I'm standing, I think. Let's go for 19 at the base. Go like that. Do... One layer of just regular straight up brick. I, I, I see I missed the spot there. Absolutely. And we'll do this, you know, with our auto build in pretty shortly here. To make sure we get all the, the missing spots. Just like that. There we go. Beautiful. Get that last little bit. Let me measure this out too. Let me jump on my steed. Okay, so from this torch.
I'm gonna move that. Move it over. Where did it go? Did I pick it up some other way? Go in my void bag? Let's find out. Yes, it did. Okay. Let's put the workbench and stuff in here for now. We'll take this out. We'll put it right on the outside. Make sure we still have that the biome going here. Put that. Stand on it. Nine should be like our middle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means that we got that being our middle. We'll build. Take that out. Just like that. And we'll put torches up here. Oh, good. What? Oh, Sherlina's throwing a party. Okay, I was like, I was like, what's going on? What did I do? What did I do this time? Okay. And of course, let's go like this. We'll knock out. We'll knock out right. We don't have the range that we normally have. Nuts! Let's go like this. Hope for the best. See this? This is why I should have kept the, uh... This is why I should have kept it. This right here. This is the exact reason I should have kept the, the pickaxe. Also, let's go ahead and move move the void bag a little bit so it's not in the middle of everything. Go like that. We'll do um, just a wood, wood, wood. We're a little base here. Oh, are, are we still missing a spot right there? We might be. Yes, it looks like we are. Yes, indeed, my friends. We are missing a bit. And we'll do... Actually, you know, I'm going to cut it lower. I'm going to cut it lower than I normally do. And we'll go... Wood like that. This torch back. Cut that down. And we'll go like this. We'll go. Eh. Do I want to even do it lower than that so I can get a nice. Ah, here's what we'll do. We'll do. Damn my ability. Hmm. Hooray, daytime. Yeah, this is feeling more mausoleum-ish. We just want this to be a, uh, just a haunted building sort of situation, so. Actually, we'll keep it as, as I was making it. Just to say. Will be like this. Out like that. Of course. Then, boom, 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 boom. And I think we've got stone platforms, too. Yeah, we can do this up even further. Nice, good. We'll kind of work with that sort of same idea. And I think I am going to do a second layer. Beautiful.
beautiful. We'll do... Hmm. Yeah. It's fine as is. It's fine as is. That is beautiful. Alright, let's just frame this out real quick. Do I want to do kind of a weird split sort of thing? I don't know. Go with it. Oh, just build. Just put it down, please. Thank you. Wonderful. Excellent. This is it. Actually, this is a good place to break it off right here. You know, we'll get back to this uh, when uh, we hit it up next time. Um... You know the drill, though. If you like me, if you like the channel, if you want to help out a little bit, uh, you know, do what you're doing right now. Watch. It's great. That's that's like the main thing. That's the thing that you can do that best helps me, in all honesty. Like, just you ha having you here, having you along for the ride, that's the greatest thing you can do for me. I appreciate it immensely. It's great to have you here. Um, and, hey, if you have any friends you want to throw my way to, you know, definitely suggest it. If they're, if they're open to suggestion, that sort of thing, you know. Um, other than that, it's YouTube, you know, the, you know the deal with that, uh, like, comment, subscribe, that always helps out, um, if you do decide to subscribe, make sure you hit that little alarm bell, that'll get you updates whenever I post new videos or make, you know, just regular posts, and, uh, if you want to, uh, throw any tips or tricks my way, mods you want to see, games you want to see me play, uh, definitely throw that in the comments as well. Um, last but not least, if you want to help me monetarily, I uh, always appreciate that. You know, you can always donate to coffee currently down in the description. You can find the link to that. Um, or, uh, Patreon once I get that actually set up, which <laughs> I may never at this rate, but I, I'm going to try to. Um, but, uh, if you can't do it, I absolutely understand. I absolutely understand. So don't stress yourself out too much about it. Um, anyway, with that, thank you so much for watching. From my house to yours, I'm John the Neighbor Kid, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.